Welcome to another Tech Help Quick Tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's quick tip is a question I get asked at least once a week. People always want to know, how do I set it so that my Access databases always use the code builder instead of popping up that window that asks you what builder that you want? So here's my blank customer database, all right? And if I go in here and I drop a button, all right, cancel the wizard. Now I want to put some code in this button. I can right click on it, go to build event, and it jumps right into the VB editor. Okay, that's because I have it set to always use event procedures. All right, let me show you how to get there. Close that. Go to file, options, the access options appear. Go to object designers. And the setting that you look for is right here. It's called always use event procedures. If I turn that off, I'm now back to the default setting where Access will ask me what kind of builder that I want. So let me hit OK. You'll have to close the database and restart it. So let me close the database. Save changes, sure. Reopen it again. Now if I go back into Design View, if I right-click on this now and go to Build Event, Access asks me which builder I want. I don't really work with macros and I almost never use the expression builder, so I like it the default to Code Builder which brings me to this. But I don't want to have to pick that option every time I work with Access. So again, I'm going to go back into File, Options, Object Designers, and turn on Always Use Event Procedures. And now, right click, Build Event, and it goes right into the VBA Editor. I cover this topic and lots more in my Access Developer Level 1 class. I'll put a link in the description down below the video. This has been your quick tip for the day. Again, my name is Richard Rost, and thanks for watching.